We're almost there. During our mountain climb, we have enjoyed the sights and sounds along the way, signs of God's presence in the beauty of His creation. We have had our challenging moments, too, fatigued by steeper sections, confused when the route is unclear, asking ourselves, are we there yet? Perhaps our Advent journey has been similar, enjoying the sights and sounds of the season, but also anxious about what gifts to buy and how to celebrate. This anxiety can cause us to lose focus on what we've been preparing for, the birth of our Lord and His return in glory. But through our own perseverance and with God's grace, finally we catch a glimpse of the summit. The end is near. The words from St. Paul in the entrance antiphon for Gaudete Sunday express our joy. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again I say, rejoice. The Lord is near. We are eager to arrive at the summit, and a holy impatience presses us to draw nearer to the Lord. At the same time, especially at high altitudes, drowsiness can set in. Even though we are so close, we can be tempted to turn back. Or, in our eagerness, we can rush ahead to our own peril, risking our safety through an unholy self-reliance. Now that we are so close, how do we approach the final ascent? Our approach remains the same, one step at a time, rejoicing in each increment and appreciating the grace of the present moment. With our eyes on the goal, we intensify our attention to the realities in front of us. In the spiritual life, the sacraments, which extend Christ's incarnation, provide a bridge between His first coming at Christmas and His second coming that we await in hope. This virtue of hope keeps us going, allowing us to see our summit, which is union with God. In case you haven't noticed, the Lord loves to work through other people on our journey. Now is the time to regroup to see if anyone else needs help reaching the summit. Maybe to take a break to refresh weary bodies and spirits. Perhaps more difficult, now is also the time to be aware of our own vulnerabilities and to ask for help from others. Mary, our model in every season, took one step at a time on her journey to Elizabeth and at each phase of accompanying Christ in his mission, placing her trust, her hope, in God. She shows us how to climb and how to live with patience and perseverance. As we pray with her, my soul rejoices in my God.